First of all, it does not have a touchscreen control, unlike the two higher ones in the range, SX700, SX900. You cannot control it by touching the screen. It is a color screen. It is highly pixelated LCD, but you control it using um, arrows and buttons around the screen. Uh, it does not have piano style weighted keys. Neither do the higher ones in the range either. Do not expect these to feel like a piano to play. They are full sized, but they don't have any mechanical resistance in the keys. They are crucially touch sensitive. So when you play gently, the sound that's returned from the speakers is quiet. And when you play harder, the sound is louder, but they are not weighted like piano keys. You can use headphones with these. It's a pretty standard thing these days for keyboards and digital pianos, etc. You can plug headphones in so it cuts the speakers automatically and you just hear the sound through your headphones. You can connect a standard vocal microphone using a quarter inch jack socket. More on that in a moment. You can record pro quality direct line sounds from this keyboard uh, with a USB for your computer if you like into recording software. Vocals, yes, you can plug in the quarter inch jack microphone like I said a moment ago and this will allow you to take your vocals as a direct output as well to a professional quality. Note there are no vocal harmonies built in with this model, but there are and the top one in the range, the SX900. This keyboard is a real band in a box. It's designed to put you in control. Um, you perhaps not being super duper high level professional musician, but someone who wants to create music and create the sound of real band playing with you. You have live control knobs, which are great for sort of on the fly changing the sound or the EQ or the sound effect or indeed the uh, level of instruments playing within an accompaniment. Um, there's a great facility called Smart Chord where you don't need to be very, very musical in terms of knowing all your chord shapes. You can just instruct the keyboard what key you're playing in and it will give you many variations including minors, major sevenths, all these smooth, lovely, different sounding types of chords but it's, uh, it's trying to keep you in the musical channel even if you uh, don't perhaps have the full training or the experience. For beginners it's wonderful. If you're a songwriter this is great because it means you can just start off the music and you're in control of the band at the touch of a key using a single finger. Unison and accent are great um, for this type of use as well because again you're in control of this band that's playing. If you want the band to play a little bit harder and the drums to come in harder, you play with your finger harder and it'll respond to you. Where it gets really clever is that if you do it softly and gently, not only does it cut the volume uh, like earlier incarnations of this did, but it also removes instruments from the mix of the band. So when you play gently, you'll find the electric guitar might cut out and the, the, all the brass and woodwind might cut out and you'll just be left with, say, the bass and the drum, just tapping away on the hi-hat. Really clever technology, and again, it's about putting you in control of the band at the touch of a fingertip. Again, it's designed with sharing your content, your musical content, online. Uh, it's designed with that in mind, particularly uploading video, but getting the pro quality sound from the keyboard out as well. If you pick up your smartphone, and you're recording yourself in a video playing this keyboard, um, usually it's quite difficult to um, get the quality sound, direct output from the keyboard onto that video recording. Yamaha have got a free app called Rec and Share, Record and Share, which will allow you to do that, take a direct output from the keyboard, including your vocal inputs, your singing, or your talking or whatever, and have the entire thing shared at the touch of a button to whatever social media you want it on there. So again, really thoughtful design from Yamaha to help uh, you get music from your keyboard you've created up online quickly. It's very light keyboard as well. It's only 8.1 kilograms. Um, and as you've seen, the way it's contoured, it's very easy to put it under your arm, pick it up and move around. Um, the weight of it is only 8.1 kilograms. Give you an idea it's about the weight of two average sized domestic cats 20 cans of soup 
or three standard household bricks. So pretty easy to pick up and carry. Make sure you have a look at our other videos as well. We've got lots on uh, this one and other keyboards in the range. Two comparisons, demonstration, reviews. Make sure you're signed up for our newsletter as well via email. Click the link below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.